dear friends <coughs> in this covid 19 period so many people they are going to the private hospitals government hospitals for treatment and uh, there are places where the ppe kits are not sufficiently available to the doctors and the medical staff and uh, if they raise voice that means if the medical officers or the paramedic staff or uh, hospital staff or like nurses if they raise voice uh, then fir's are being registered against them so this has come to the notice of the supreme court and the supreme court uh, commented adversely that uh, the governments are shooting the messengers or they are shooting the corona warriors uh, by filing the so called uh, false uh, false and frivolous and vexatious fir's against them right actually the former law minister shri ashwini kumar he wrote a letter to the supreme court of india highlighting the press news press clippings and social media information that the incidents of throwing away the dead bodies in pits by the municipal staff in pondicherry and tying the old people for not paying the bill to a cart in madhya pradesh and uh, dragging the dead bodies uh, and uh, keeping the dead bodies by the side of the patients the patients who are undergoing treatment uh, in uh, loknag jack prakashan hospital all these things uh, so he wanted the supreme court to enquire into the matter and of course he also cited that the supreme court has got duty and power also so the duty and power so he has uh, he has emphasized the point uh, right to live with dignity or right to die with dignity all these things we will discuss later so he wrote a letter that supreme court has got a duty and power to ensure that uh, the law declared by it is uh, actually enforced that's what we learn in uh, article 141 so whatever rules framed by the supreme court uh, they are the law of the earth or law of the nation and uh, till a new act comes uh, they have to be followed in letter and spirit so based on this letter maybe one of the parts uh, so the supreme court now has taken up the matter sumoto sumoto means you may be knowing sumoto means by self normally the supreme court will act on certain pay, certain uh, petitions filed by somebody even public interest litigations are filed by somebody even though there is no local standing principle but here the supreme court itself the honorable supreme court itself that means sumoto taken up this case so normally the sumoto cases will be called in re so simply remember in re means in respect of if i want to tell uh, another 5 minutes we over in re proper treatment of covid 19 patients this is the topic so normally the sumoto case was taken up by the supreme court and notices were given to so many states so like uh, delhi this incidents are the major incidents are in delhi gujarat tamil nadu maharashtra and west bengal and uh, to the of course they have requested the supreme court sought information from the governments regarding the private hospitals and government hospitals also over the treatment situation and response on the covid-19 patient care and handling of the dead bodies is most important handling of the dead bodies because in social media even i myself have seen with our own eyes uh, dragging the dead bodies uh, up to the ambulance they are literally dragging with a uh, rope and the news the man tying to the uh, cart it was uh, uh, it has come in uh, hindu i believe yes now when uh, the uh, governments responded then <laughs> the benches the bench consisting of three judges mr sanjay kishan kaul ashok bhushan and mr sha right so they were literally perplexed on the reply because the delhi government says all is well so bhushan he commented your affidavit says everything is fine in delhi that means you don't want the truth to come out they don't want to, to truth to come out that means so many incidents they have seen and uh, also uh, this when uh, the assistant solicitor general sanjay jain 
stated that uh, all is well or the evidence is shown then the supreme court reacted like this and uh, definitely they have stated that it is a lackadaisical approach by the government of delhi and sanjay kishan kaul the doctors and nurses are the soldiers actually this is a war we are fighting a war they are corona warriors so you have to treat them properly if you don't treat them properly then uh, how can you win the war no. the governments you are booking uh, fir's against the doctors uh, and uh, you are shooting the messengers so suppressing them like this and taking all these uh, type of uh, unfortunate steps against the doctors uh, immediately you should with a draw that means the fir's are again uh, registered against the hospital staff and doctors uh, who have highlighted the conditions of the hospitals who have highlighted the issue of ppe kits who have highlighted the issue of non availability of n95 masks uh, these fir should be withdrawn immediately and uh, the governments are directed to file a fresh memo and the matter is posted to i think uh, 19th right and the supreme court also issued note to the loknarayan loknayak jayaprakash narayan hospital where so the shocking visuals of mishandling of dead bodies has emerged so and another point is there is a reduction in the testing rate in delhi if the testing is not done properly how can you know as to number of covid 19 or positive patients so the social media shows uh, the dead bodies uh, left in the lobby left in the waiting area left in the wards and i have seen today itself uh, the dead body the stock dead body was uh, lying just by a patient he is turning this side and uh, i think i don't know whether he is sleeping or not but he has come on the social media so is it the state of government hospital we expect no doubt we know with aarogya sri private hospitals have amass really thing they have treated so many patients under this co called scheme of aarogya sri but this uh, prime minister's uh, aishman bhava these people they are not taking at all any interest and uh, all of us have go to go to the government hospital only even the situation is like this right so supreme court has taken a very serious view and uh, literally chided the governments uh, stating that uh, they are taking action against the doctors for highlighting the issues if they don't highlight who is going otherwise same statement all is well so this will come so this is a good uh, reaction at least uh, from the supreme court to the apex court uh, now and uh, last point last i want to tell you is yes, uh, the supreme court also emphasized uh, article 21 so right to live a right to live means a right to die with dignity that's why you might have been seeing films also when the police whenever the police officer goes to a dead body he will salute the same that is the respect they you have to give for a dead body so even for dying also you have to give the so called respect or dignity this is what article 21 say so even in the case of ethiopia you may be knowing that i have done uh, my llm on this uh, dissertation on uh, the so called ethiopia only so ethiopia other was called as a right to die so in the famous case of uh, p ratnam ratinam p ratnam and arbushan patnaik versus in uh, union of india i think in 1994 so committing suicide in india is an offense attempting to commit so he said it is an offense 309 section ipc but still it is there in england it is not there if you die okay even if you survive you have already suffered the problem and it is your problem they don't care but in india attempting to commit suicide an offense so they have filed a attempting it should be decriminalized of course still it is not there in ratnam a right to live right to die means right to life is also there they are clearly in that jian uh, kaur versus state of punjab and sripati dabal i think uh, i don't maruti sripati dabal versus state of maharashtra 1987 that constable case uh, everywhere no doubt you have to you can die with dignity and of course uh, chenna jagdish randar versus uh, state of ap 1988 it is also there so actually they wanted to decriminalize they are appealing to the decriminalize section 309 of the ipc already they have suffered a lot 
why should they suffer by going to the court and uh, they may have to undergo one year imprisonment if uh, the so called 309 is proved and uh, you have to remember aruna shanbag case aruna shanbag was working as a nurse in uh, king edward memorial hospital bombay and uh, during the year 1973 she was subjected to rape uh, by mr valmiki uh, actually he is a uh, servant in the hospital and he has committed sodomy and of course uh, uh, she had went into coma and she was there in coma for about uh, 42 years and she died in the year 2015 so her uh, of course next friend pinky virani she filed a public interest litigation against the government of india about the topic of euthanasia since she is in a permanent vegetative to stage better let her die of course at that time uh, the markand justice markand kaju he was he has allowed passive euthanasia but the, by the time the orders came uh, she died in uh, 2015 i believe so right to live so right to die with a dignity is also important anyway we don't want people to die we want them to come up happily uh, even uh, the corona affects them but the people who died uh, they must be treated with dignity even the municipal employees uh, they should uh, dig the uh, pit first or put the body then they have to cover the same we have seen in the uh, social media just they have thrown the body like that and uh, the ambulance went away such is the pathetic uh, condition at least uh, the supreme court has uh, Uh, notice this and uh, it has taken up sumoto and they have sent notices to all the people and uh, the first reply was not liked by them of course tomorrow on june 19th uh, the fresh affidavit has to be filed by the governments and uh, loknag jayprakash nayan hospital also anyway we will see what will happen but this is a caustic remark by the supreme court uh, that the governments are shooting the messengers or the governments are filing false fires against the doctors and hospital staff and all of them should be with a drum so please read it carefully thank you